Hola, buenos dias. Good morning, my beautiful people. Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl here, Vanilla, Miss Four Lizard, the planning diva. And I am going to be setting up my thick and juicy home life planner for the week of Christmas. I already changed the cover. I used to have the Stargazer cover on this and I just switched it up. I did like that cover, but I've just been feeling like coming back to this, my all time favorite, Whimsy Wonders and Minnie Mouse with the teacher icon background. I love this so much. Anyways, I'm in my thick and juicy home life planner and I'm gonna be setting up um, the week of Christmas, Christmas week. So let's flip to um, my December here. Look at my divider, so cute. Let me move this stuff. Let me try to center my planner here. This is my monthly so far. I actually decorated quite a bit on the monthly, so I didn't leave myself a lot of room to like journal. I like to kind of write down like the most exciting thing that happened on days that I don't have anything already going on or like decoration, but I decorated this monthly a lot, so I didn't leave myself a lot of room. But I really want to set up another Christmas spread. I really like how this one turned out. This is like a very classic Christmas spread. And I used the Disney seasonal sticker book to set that one up. And then this one was last week's. I actually got to move this. This was my winter wonderland spread. And this is how it turned out. All filled out. I really, really like how this one turned out. My boyfriend actually got me this super cute penguin sticker that says wild babies on it. I think this might be from like a Netflix show. I'm not sure, but yes, very happy with how this one turned out. And I need to set up this week. So this is Christmas week. And actually I don't have that much going on this week. Thank God it's gonna be a very chill week for me. And we have Christmas Eve and Christmas on the weekend here. I just have a vet appointment on Friday, but that's about it that I have going on. So I think we're gonna go with a very classic Christmas spread. I just have a random piece of washi tape right here for some reasons, get rid of that. And I think I'm going to be going again with my Disney seasonal sticker book. This is the large size. And actually, I probably should go grab the other one, like the regular size, but I really want to use up these um, stickers. These are the Christmas stickers, and I think I'm just gonna tear out these pages here because I kind of want to use all of them. I just want to finish these stickers up, like the big sticker books. I think they're really easy to get through and I really try to finish as many sticker books as I possibly can. And so I think if I dedicate myself to finishing the stickers within the season, then I have, I stand a good chance of finishing this book by next winter. Anyways, I think these are going to be like the base of my spread. So I have these here. I also pulled for some uh, scrapbook paper. I have just like a regular Christmas plaid scrapbook paper. This was from a seasonal paper pack from Joann's that I got on Black Friday. I just grabbed this. This is just a little strip of scrapbook paper from Michaels. I love how it looks like postage stamps. And then I have this one. This one is a snowman scrapbook paper. I really like this one. I got this one last year and I love this print, but I never really found a way to use this. So this has been kind of something I've always wanted to get into and figure out a way to use this. So I have this here. And then last but not least, I have my humongous pack of Happy Planner Christmas and winter stickers. I think I have like six or seven sticker books, different sticker books kind of collated into here. I just rip out all of the Christmas and winter stickers from any seasonal sticker book and pop it into this mega pack. So I have that here. And of course I have my pencil case with all of the tools of my trade. So I have that here ready to go on the side and I think we're ready to begin. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is set up the sidebar. I really like how I set up the sidebar on my monthly over here with the scrapbook paper framing the stamps. So I am going to do the exact same thing right here. So let's get into it. Thank you. 
Okay, and then this is something I normally don't do on spreads because it does take a while, but this is Christmas week, and so I feel like I have to go all out for this spread, and also I just have a little bit more time because I am slowly but surely taking my vacation time, and I'm trying not to feel too bad about it. But I'm going to line the entire spread, like this gap down here, this gap over here, and the top where the dates are, I'm going to cover up the top. I'm going to cover that all up with scrapbook paper, with this scrapbook paper to give it a nice frame. So let us get into this. Okay, it looks great. I like how it turned out. I was going to cover up the spine as well, but I think I'm gonna leave it because first of all, I ran out of scrapbook paper. I mean, I think I have a couple more pages of this in the pack, but I don't wanna go get it. And I think, I think we're done here. I already went above and beyond for this spread. So the first thing that I wanna do is I need to set up like the Monday through Sunday date stickers and I have these This Is Us sticker books that I got from Michaels a long long time ago and I think I have a good number of like date stickers in here so I have these I wish I had green ones I think I only have blue ones oh, I have black ones and yellow ones I guess the black ones could work Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Yeah, let's use these black ones. I'm trying to use up these stickers because they're really, really old and I only have like remnants of each of those sticker books left. I think I'll go into my Mojo Jojo plans now for these stickers, like these clear ones right here, to set up the actual dates. So Monday was the 19th. Okay, the next thing that I want to do is figure out where this snowman scrapbook paper is going to go because it is so vibrant and fun. So I'm thinking of either doing boxes, kind of like how I did in my last spread with the snowflake scrapbook paper, or I'm just thinking of doing just a nice corner piece on this side and then maybe on this side. I'm leaning towards the corner piece, so let me tear a little piece here. Okay, that's cute. I kind of wanted it to be a little bit bigger, but then I tore it a little smaller than what I wanted it to be. Okay, I think I'm gonna tear just a little piece over here. Now this one was bigger than I wanted it to be, but I think I'm gonna go for it. I just kinda wanna experiment with this size. Let's do it. Okay, and I think that's going to be the basis of the spread. Now to add stickers. Okay, I really like these, the Mickey and Minnie stickers holding the presents. So I think I'm going to go for these first. Let me pull up Minnie. Maybe I should have them here, like in the middle of the spread. Like so. Perfect. I'll grab this Merry and Bright sticker and I think I'll put this here at the bottom. Ooh, this one's big. There we go. I might not be able to fit all of these stickers on here now that I'm looking at this. Let me peel this off. Put that on the side. I don't want to forget about that vet appointment, but I kind of want to see what I'm working with here. 
Now I really want to set up some functional boxes in here. So I'm going to look for boxes that fit this more like traditional red and green Christmas theme and start popping them down on this spread. See, this one immediately jumps out to me, this bright red one. I think I could put this like right here. Okay, I think it would be nice to have like a bright red box here, but kind of like a, one of the bigger double boxes. So I reached for my Mojo Jojo Plans red boxes sticker book, and I'm thinking maybe one of these like brighter tomato reds, like this one right here. Um, I like the one with the lines. So let me grab that. I do want some of the snowman to like peep through, so I don't want to like cover the entire scrapbook paper here. Let me think. Maybe like, maybe if I put it right here, enough would pop through. A little hot cocoa sticker here in the corner. I really like this Merry Christmas full box, so I think I'm gonna have to put it on a Christmas, of course. Ooh, I do want some functional stuff here. So I add this top three sticker right there. Ooh, I would love to add this like gold foil Merry Christmas sticker. I could either put it up there or down here or up here. Um, I'm gonna hold off on this one for now actually. I'll return it to the page. I'll add this full box right here with the little gingerbread man, so cute. And then one of these boxes over here. I don't mind that it's one of these monthly boxes. Okay, there was this sticker that I really wanted to use. It says vacation packing list on it. And I am going on a road trip on Monday morning. I'm actually leaving Sunday night to go up to Los Angeles to meet my boyfriend because we're leaving early from Los Angeles Monday morning so I'm gonna spend Christmas night up there but I'm not gonna leave until later on in the day on Christmas but I'm going to have to get packed on Christmas so I'm thinking of putting this sticker right here I'm gonna add another checklist right here and I really like these string Christmas lights. I think I want to add them at the top, like right here. Another nice journaling box right here. And one of these Hello Weekend stickers right there, perfect. Okay, I kind of want one of these, another one of these arched boxes, maybe like right here. And I'm thinking of potentially adding one of these double boxes, these dark green ones. Um, yeah, maybe one of these in here as well, like maybe up here. Perfect. And then I'll add a little gingerbread right there. Cute. Okay, I feel like we're reaching sticker capacity, so I'm gonna have to take a step back here. I think I'll add this quote though, right here. Let me see if I can sprinkle some of these like, um, like pine needles. and some of these like gold snowflakes and the Mickey heads. Let's see what I can do here.
Okay, there we have it. There it is, the finished spread. I had to punch out all the holes with my crocodile, and it turned out really cute. I like it. At first, I was kind of unsure about it. It felt really hodgepodgey and just not as cohesive as maybe like my Winter Wonderland spread turned out. But the more I look at it, the more I like it. It is hodgepodgey. It is kind of all over the place. It is a little bit chaotic, but honestly, that's kind of what I like. That's kind of my style, my aesthetic. I am chaotic good. I think it's fun and whimsical and it's just very, very cute. And when you look at it, I think it does scream Christmas. I'm pleased with this. I feel like I did a good job, so I'm happy with it. All right, everyone, thank you so much for spending some time with me here today. I really appreciate it. Let me know um, what you went with in your planner for Christmas week and how the spread turned out. I would love to know. Let us all know in the comments down below, and I hope to see you in my next video. So until then, stay safe, stay blessed, and happy planning. Bye.